Again, we did an interview with Knockout Kings. We appreciate your time. Oh, yeah, sure. No problem. Um, so you got Caleb, Danny, and RJ coming up from the next piece of your event. And Jesse. And Jesse. I've got four Jesse guys. Yeah, i got four guys on the car. So what, what can you tell us about? Like you said before, a lot of the guys who's fighting on the gym. A lot of yeah, I mean, I mean, we've been training, man. We've been training. We put we put our time in every day. Uh, you know, the guys take their bumps and bruises, but, you know, that's what we do. We, we're in the grind. I got a lot of guys, a lot of guys. I got probably 10, 15 pros. I've got 10 amateurs that are competing. So, you know, I'm real busy with those guys. And uh, we got Danny making his debut. Uh, Jess is going to be uh, making his, his second fight. Uh, Caleb is going to be on his second fight, and then RJ is going to be on his second fight. So you know, we got we got quite a few guys that you know we're just getting ready and doing everything that we can to, to get those guys ready to uh, compete at the PCG. So another another thing coming out of your gym is your recent trip to Montreal. How did that go? Yeah, it went good, man. It was good to uh, you know we got an affiliate school that with Rodrigo with the uh, RBBJJ, and uh, we we did a dual seminar myself uh, and Rodrigo. He did. Uh, seminar on Friday night. Saturday morning I did a Muay Thai seminar. And I, you know, I got to see some old friends. Uh, I did a seminar in Monterey probably 10, 15 years ago. So it was good to see my good friend uh, Julio Gamboa that's, that's out there in Monterey. He was, uh, he's a real uh, traditional Muay Thai guy. And, uh, but it was good to uh, meet some new people, see some old friends, and you know, just get down there and spread the knowledge of Muay Thai. Obviously another thing would be the expansion of, of, of the seed you planted. Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, most long ago. Yeah, 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 most definitely. And uh, you know, that's what that's what we're gonna continue to do, man. We got we got so many big things coming up with, with our school. I don't know if we're gonna talk to you about it when uh, when you spoke to him, but you know, we're about to ex expand our school. We're actually we're gonna close this location. We're building a brand new one from the ground up. It's gonna be almost ten thousand square feet. So we, we we've got some big plans with our BJJ at Peace Spring Montana. Yeah, when I mean, we spoke about that last time, but it's gonna be right behind the same location. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tranquil as well. Exactly. And, now, exactly. and, and then, then our satellite schools that we have as well exactly. in Monterey, and we got a couple in Florida, so we got Del Rio, so you know, we're, we're doing well. And, and, oh, and that, trip, that trip we briefly spoke about to, uh, to Brazil, how, how, how can you tell us about that? Actually, uh, uh, I learned today that that trip is probably going to fall through. They have got some issues with the government, and they're not able to, uh, to pay for my ticket, but you know, if we get it worked out before it's time for me to be there, I'd definitely be going. To, to Brazil to do that seminar, but if not, you know, you know I'll wait till next time because I'm sure they get it worked out because they definitely want to come out there. I'm, most of the guys, I, I meet a lot of guys from uh, from Manaus and a lot of the upcoming fighters through Rodrigo, and every time they work with me, I'm sure they go back and tell their friends. So I have a buzz in my house about my time, and uh, you know, they want to get out there and learn from it. Yeah, and it's an awesome thing to see. And one of the things, one of the one of the ways people can see it is at the PCG event. You know how the gym, the gym, your Rodrigo, and yourself are planting those seeds. You know, what what uh, what can fight fans expect for this, in the next event? I mean, coming out of, coming out of this gym, you can always expect some fireworks, man. You know, all my guys train hard, and uh, they taste the bumps and bruises, and you know it's it's kind of a situation to where you know. They don't get to be at their best at the gym because they're not the best guy at the gym. But at the same time, they're like, coach, <laughs> I'm not afraid to get in the cage with anybody because nobody's going to hit me as hard as you did. You know, so you know, I give them that lumps and bruises, and you know, they they don't they don't expect to see anybody across from the cage that's my type of caliber. So you know, it, it helps alleviate a little bit of anxiety that they might have getting into the cage. But uh, you know, all my guys are going to be ready, man. They're going to perform. You know, win or lose, we're going to perform and do our thing. And uh, that's just what it is, man. It's just, it's just so busy. It's like every, almost every event in San Antonio, I've got at least four or five people on the card. So you know, it keeps me busy. It keeps me busy training all the guys. And you know, that's why I hadn't even looked at, at making my return to the ring because I'm so busy training everybody. You know, it's just, it's crazy. And when I have to, when I'm going to fight. I want to make sure that I can focus on myself, and I won't have a bunch of guys fighting on the card at the same time. Exactly. exactly. Well, we appreciate your time. Uh, as always, we, we, uh, we deeply appreciate it with the attention you give us, and, and the fight fans out there that appreciate your hard work and the school's hard work as well. Sure thing. Thanks appreciate again. It. Thanks.